now, KETK Sports with Mike Alzamora. He was a star wide receiver at White House. As a matter of fact, a three sport standout. Jake Parker went on to play football at TJC and Texas Tech. Then he entered the workforce, but his love for the game never went away. And as you'll hear from Garrett Sanders, he's now using the remainder of his el eligibility to make an impact as a Howard Payne Yellow Jacket. Back when Jake Parker lined up alongside Dylan Cantrell with Patrick Mahomes as quarterback, it was hard to find a better show in East Texas than the White House Wildcats. I mean, it's pretty cool to look back. You know, I mean, there's been there's been some good teams to come after us, but and before us really. But I mean, we we really put a mark on White House and made it, you know, fun to come come watch those games. Parker graduated from White House in 2014 and spent time playing at TJC and Texas Tech before deciding to work in the oil field. But right before the 2019 football season, Parker got the itch to play again. So he reached out to former Bishop Gorman head coach, Kobe Gibson, who at the time was working for Howard Payne University in Brownwood. I gave him a call and asked him, you know, hey, um, do y'all have a spot for me or can y'all give me an opportunity? And he said, yeah, sure, just come up for a visit next week. And so I came up there and then just went from there. He had some juice left and he had some competitive spirit about him. And anybody that knows Jake Parker knows he's one of the biggest competitors that's ever come through East Texas. Parker hadn't played in two and a half years and now had two weeks to get ready for a full season. But after his performance in 2019 as a jacket, he has the opportunity to be a starting whiteout in 2020. Being away from the game for a while makes you, you know, really respect it that much more coming back to it. And I was just, you know, I was just lucky to get to strap on the pads another season. I expect him to be an All-American this year at Howard Payne and represent that program. And then more importantly, go get his college degree. He'll have a story to tell uh, for many years to come that will impact a, a, a new generation. The next chapter of his story will start in Brownwood this fall. Garrett Sanders, KTK Sports.